academics with Miss Marina. Week four, we're week four already. It is going by so fast. So this week's activity is about food. I don't know about you guys, but ever since we've been home a lot, all Miss Marina thinks about is food. What am I gonna eat for breakfast? What am I gonna eat for lunch? Hmm, what are we gonna make for supper? I don't know. So food, food, food. It seems like when we're home, that's all we think about is food. So I was inspired for this week's activity to do something that is food related, okay? So we're not gonna be cooking because cooking is with Miss Chrissy on Thursdays, but we are going to do something that is kind of close to it. Okay, so this week's activity is going to be a meal planning activity. Okay, so I am going to need you guys to plan all of your meals. Okay, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, even your snacks. Okay, I'm going to need you guys to plan everything for two whole days. Okay, so you guys will plan everything that you are going to eat, everything that you are going to drink for two days. Okay, um, we are going to use grocery store flyers to help us. Okay, so let's get started on this activity and let me show you guys what you guys are going to do, which is very exciting. So like last week, I am just going to make my face a little bit smaller on the screen so you guys can see my screen and you guys can see what you have to do. Okay, so Miss Marina is going to make this a little smaller, put myself on the side over here. All right, so when you guys start your project, you will obviously need to look at this PDF that I have sent you guys, okay? So let's start looking at the steps, okay? So step one says visit the website um, circulaire.ca, okay? So you can visit this website if you do not have physical copies of grocery store flyers, okay? So I know that some families, I know that not every family receives grocery store flyers in the mail. I know that some people, like Miss Marina, actually receive them in the mail and then today was re was recycling day, so I put them in the recycling and now I actually don't have any physical copies, okay? So if you guys don't have any physical copies of grocery store flyers, that is totally okay. You can visit this website called uh, circulaire.ca okay so we will go visit that website in just a few seconds we're just going to look through a few of these steps first okay so once you visit the website or you have the physical grocery store flyers in front of you you are going to choose one or two local grocery store flyers to look at okay so let's go see this website so right here we have the website circulaire.ca, okay? So your website is gonna look something like this, all right? So for those of you who don't know, actually, you can find every um, store flyer, basically, um, on here, okay? So part of the instructions is that you guys need to choose one or two uh, grocery store flyers that you would like to look at. So let's say I was doing this project, okay? Miss Marina lives next to a metro, so I am going to open the grocery flyer for metro. So you simply find the metro one, which is right here, and then you click on it. Then once you click on it, then the grocery store flyer for the metro is going to appear. All right, so here, we have all of the grocery store flyer pages here for the metro, okay? So this is basically like having the physical copy, but it's on the internet, okay? So you guys can look through every single page here. You can see there is one, two, three, four pages. There might even be more than that, who knows, okay? So then you click here and then it will load every single page to show you everything that they are selling at the Metro this week. You can go back here and choose any other one, 
All right, so Miss Marina lives next to a Metro, but if you happen to live next to a Maxi or a Super C, all right, you can open the Super C flyers and see what is on sale at Super C. All right, so you need to choose one or two grocery store flyers to look at. All right, so that is step number one. So let's go back to our project, okay? Step number three says you need to plan all your meals for the next two days using items that you have found in the flyers, okay? So when you are looking through the flyers, think about Ooh, what would be a good thing to have for breakfast? What would be a good thing to eat for snack? What would be a good thing to have for lunch or for supper? All right, so you need to think about that while you are looking through the flyers, okay? So you have to think about breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, you also have to think about your snacks and you also have to think about your drinks too, okay? So if you're drinking water, that's one thing if you want to drink something else, okay, then you have to see what kind of um, what kind of drinks, what kind of juices, what kind of things can I find in the grocery store flyers. All right, so Miss Marina made a little disclaimer here that says be sure to make balanced meals, okay? So include items from different food groups, okay? So fruits and vegetables, if you can, grains, proteins, dairy, okay? So let's remember all the different food groups and let's try to not eat pizza or spaghetti or chicken nuggets every day, okay? Let's try to make it a little bit different, okay, guys? We need to make healthy meals and healthy choices. Okay, so once you guys have looked through all of the flyers and you have a good idea of what you would like to eat for your different meals, you will then complete the worksheets provided. Okay, so right down here, we have the meal plans for every single day, including breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay, so this is your day one meal plan. So you need to list each item you would like to buy followed by its price, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say for breakfast here on day one, you would like to buy, you would like to eat cereal, okay? So let's say your favorite cereal is um, cornflakes, okay? And you would like to buy some cornflakes, okay? So you will have to write um, cornflakes cereal, here and then you will also have to give me the price okay so if the box of cereal is four dollars and 99 cents then you need to write that it is four dollars and 99 cents okay if you would like to buy um maybe bagels for breakfast you want to buy bagels and you want to buy cream cheese for breakfast okay then you need to write bagels and tell me how much the bagels cost then you would need to write cream cheese Okay, and then tell me how much the cream cheese costs, okay? Once you have written down all of your items, you will then need to tell me what is the total price, okay? So that's a little difficult because we need to start adding numbers together, okay? If you're not able to do that yet, that's okay. If you need help to do that, then that is okay, all right? So you fill out this page the way you want to. Okay, if you think that you don't want to do numbers right now, you just want to write down what you want to eat, then that's totally okay. All right, you can do this project however you would like. Okay, so as long as for day one, let's make sure that we have our breakfasts that are written down, everything that you want to buy for lunch is written down, and everything that you want to buy for dinner is also written down. Okay, so this is day one. Then if you go to the next page, we have day two, all right? So day two, you will do exactly the same thing, okay? Now, obviously for day two, I don't know about you, but I don't always like eating the same things every day. So maybe you guys want, might want to change it up a little bit, maybe buy something different, right? So if you had, um, maybe if you had one meal on Monday, okay, you might want to have a different meal on Tuesday, okay? So maybe look for different things for lunch, look for different things for dinner, and maybe for breakfast too. Who knows? 
All right, so for day number two, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So you need to list every item that you would like to buy. You can write its price and you can calculate the total price if you feel like you want to do that, okay? Our next page here is also your plan for your snacks, all right? So here, snacks for day one, you have a column, and snacks for day two, you also have a column, okay? So here, of course, if you're like me, you snack a lot. Miss Marina likes to snack all the time. I eat a lot, so I will definitely buy lots of snacks for me, okay? So here, this is, again, this is the same thing. So you write down everything that you would like to buy for your snacks for day one, you, and then you write the price, okay? You can calculate the total price if you want to, and then you do the same thing for day two. So you calculate all of your snacks for day two, write the price for all of them, and tell me what the total price is, all right? So guys, remember when you're doing this, also think about hmm, drinks. Do I wanna buy any drinks, okay? So remember to calculate that in there. All right, so I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys have fun looking through um, the grocery store flyers. I know that grocery stores are very difficult to come by these days. There's long lineups and there's lots of rules to follow, but that's okay because you guys can almost do the groceries without even really having to leave your house just by looking at the flyers. All right, so... This is your activity for this week. I hope that you guys like the activity. Let me make my face big again. Oh, there it is. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the activity and I hope you guys learn a lot from it as well. And I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys are happy and I hope you guys are working hard. Miss Marina misses you guys so much and I can't wait to see you guys again very, very soon. All right. Lots of love, guys. Bye-bye.